Now, Nathan, what is your greatest fear in the world? Oh, having to do 360. <laughs> no, the other one, the other one. Getting an Uber with you? <laughs> no, Nathan, it's sharks. So what we decided to do is go down to Port Lincoln and go shark diving with some great whites. Take a look. What would you say? You have to admit, I'm a pretty good friend. You? Me. You think you're a friend? Mick Ennis is a better friend than you are. Really? 100%. OK, anyway, over the last couple of weeks, or months, I should say, I've really enjoyed how we've been pushing each other on the couch, and, and Nathan has been... Well, basically, you've overcome a lot of your fears. Well, I liked helping Nathan out so much that I decided to basically go one step further and help him overcome his greatest fear in the world. Losing another grand final. Second greatest fear in the world. Being a regular on 360. Third greatest fear? Probably Arnott's discontinuing mint slice. Fourth. I wouldn't want to get into a street fight with Buzz Rothfield. That'd be scary. Okay, your 16th greatest fear? All sharks. I don't like sharks. So to help Heidi overcome this fear, we decided to head to Port Lincoln, home of the sharks and the seals and of course seamen. <laughs> I knew you'd say it. He said semen. That's what you call them. All right, Nathan, welcome aboard. I've organised some good stuff. Come over here, look at this. I want to show you this. This is the cage we're going in. Why is there a giant dent in it? Is this the gap? Look, I've never done you said it. Was, you said it was tighter than me. You said, no, nah, nothing going to get in. They won't be able to get in. Look at the gap. I know, but their snouts are bigger. Snouts? Who do you think you are, David f***ing that, bro? Yeah, okay. Yeah, at least well, so I wasn't shitting myself just looking at the cage while you stand on deck. You were literally petrified just looking at it. I wasn't petrified. <laughs> well, the old Hindmarsh nerves came to the fore, didn't they? No, oh, they did. On the way out in the sea, big seas, big surf. You know what? The, of, only, the, uh, only, thing, the only thing that got to me was you, you big f***ing idiot. Hey, Nathan, look. Look what I got. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Look how many teeth they've got. Good thing is, right, if you get bitten by one, you die straight away. You're not going to bleed to death. And look, even if it gets over your head, you can't go past your shoulders. Boom. <laughs> I did everything in my power to cheer you up. Like what? A very good friend of mine has given uh, you a message. Andy, how are you, mate? Uh, here you going swimming with the sharks. Yeah, look, number one rule, just have a good mate. Have you back. Actually, you got Fletch, don't you? You're screwed, mate. You're on your own. Hey, for the last time, Mick Fanning is not your best mate. Anyway, uh, the swell was quite big and uh, upset a few people on the boat, didn't it, Nathan? It did, Brian. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. oh. Well, we finally got to Neptune Islands. Well, it's an eerie place, that. It is very eerie. But they're just under us here now, right? Just breeding, spawning. What they like to do, they like to spawn. You don't know anything, so don't pretend you know what you're talking about. It's in shallow. You know, they've, they've, done, they've done stories about sharks, right? Great whites. And they've got the same personalities as serial killers. What? Yep. They... How do they do that study? And it wasn't long before the big Noah's Arks started circling. Look, look, look. Look, look. look at him. Oh, shit. Over there. See you there? Oh, ooh. Shit! Tell you what, I've got a real talent for spotting sharks. If any of them, they were swimming past the boat, right, right past the boat. And you're going, where, where are they? Where are they? <laughs> well, I didn't see it. Haven't you seen it yet? I saw the end of it. What was yeah, it? Look, look, it's there. <laughs> Sorry, Jacques Cousteau. Sorry, f***tard. To be honest, I felt really bad for our cameraman, AK. Uh, we had to put him out in a cage by himself. It was like that scene out of the most famous shark movie ever. I got no spit. Oh, I thought you were talking about this movie. Seriously, you're not all there, are you? Mate, it's a good movie. In fact, people always tell me that Ian Zering looks like a young Brian Fletcher. And you look like an 
overweight Shannon Doherty. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Well, poor old AK quickly became the bait out there on his own. So the time had come for us to put our wetsuits on and jump into this cage. Here comes my human seal. Here he is. How's the mort? Good. <laughs> How many weight belts do you need? You need 15 half of it. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's cold. Geez, the water was freezing. You're telling me, I got down to about six inches. Why do you always have to refer to your appendage? Because it's a lot bigger than yours. <laughs> Fuck, you were annoying down there. What? The singing. He knew that wasn't going to work. He just kept going with it. Like you're any better. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Did it work? Yeah, but yeah. Did it work? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. look. Nathan Highmarsh, shark whisperer. Right up with your thoughts. Shark diving. Yeah, it's all right. Did your adrenaline levels rise? When I first got in the water, it was cold. Yeah. So that was it? The water was cold. Are you fitting him? How, how am I going to get you excited? Actually, you know what? I've got something for you. I'll just land back in Sydney. It involves a table with two holes in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You watch those levels, though. 